Hey, I'm Chris. Picking up from the operator's manual, today we will be covering drive units PD6 to PD12. Today we will be demonstrating how to carry out a drive unit service with a digger service kit. Picking up from the operator's manual, we will be covering drive units PD6 to PD12, as well as a PD4 high flow to PD10 high flow drive. In moderate operating conditions, it is vital to carry out the first gear oil change within three months or an initial 50 hours of use in than every 500 hours or 12 months. In severe operating conditions, the first gear oil change is required after 30 hours of use and thereafter every 300 hours of use with a major strip down, inspection and rebuild. Lay the drive unit on the ground with the oil bung filled facing up. Mark a line on the hood and gearbox lining up with the centre point of the hoses. Using an 8mm Allen key, remove the bung. Rotate the unit until the oil fill hole is facing the ground and drain the oil. Apply Loctite 567 thread sealant to the oil bung and reinsert after the oil has completely drained. Remove the hood bolts with a 16mm socket or spanner and remove the hood. Note, PD6 and PD7 feature two extra bolts, which fasten the hood spaces to the gear set housing. Do not remove these until step 6. Continue alignment mark onto the motor. Remove the motor bolts and the motor with a 16mm socket or spanner. On PD6 and PD7 drive units, Unfasten the last two bolts from the gear set assembly housing to release input housing and ring gear. Remove the sun gear. Remove the old O-ring from the motor and clean up the surface. Replace with a new O-ring. Remove the ring gear, planet gears and the gear set spacer. Clean and inspect parts. Unscrew the lock nut using a chisel and hammer until it fully reveals the steel key. Remove the key by either placing the entire assembly upside down or by using a magnet, remove the lock nut. Push the shaft out. This may require a hammer to tap it out. With a clean rag, clean the inside of the input housing. Tap out the shaft seal using a screwdriver and hammer. Remove the lower bearing. After the shaft seal has been removed, clean and inspect the parts. Turn the lower bearing inside the housing. Apply Loctite around the outside of the shaft seal. Place the shaft seal in position, ensuring it is level, and tap it in with a flat metal plate and hammer so it sets evenly. Apply grease to the inside of the shaft seal. Use it a flat metal plate and hammer Tap the shaft back into the housing until the shaft is fully inserted. Turn the housing over and stand it on the shaft. Reinsert the upper bearing. Screw the lock nut into place with flat side up. Do this while turning the housing until the bearing begins to feel firm. This will also line up the shaft keyway. Insert the key and turn nut recess to make sure the shaft recess and lock nut recess no longer line up. This will secure the key, a hammer and chisel can be used. Remove the old O-rings from the input housing and ring gear. Insert the new O-rings into the input housing and ring gear. Reinsert the shaft spacer and ensure the flat side points towards the gear set. Replace the gear set. Replace the ring gear, and for the PD6 to PD10, the input housing, lining up the previously made marks. Insert the two longer bolts into the unevenly spaced holes on the gearbox housing. Secure the topmost ring above the ring gear. Fill with oil to five millimeters below the top of the ring gear, and allow time for it to settle to the bottom. Replace the motor and motor bolts lining up previously marked alignment lines.
Replace the hood by guiding the hoses through the hood hole. Replace the hood bolts and torque to 55 Newton meters. If unsure about any of these steps, please always refer to the operator's manual. Should you have any questions, please contact us at 1300 2Digger or visit our website.